let's look at uh, how to do a 3D scatter plot. We can plot 3D scatter plots uh, in IPython notebook itself, but I wanted to show you a good example of how to do it, how to build interactive 3D scatter plots. Plotly is a very nice tool where you where you can use Python to create uh, interactive 3D scatter plots. And let's go and see how it works. So this is the Plotly website where we have uh, 3D scatter plots. And in this, so if you look at the code, this code looks fairly straightforward. You have your x-axis as sepal length. You have your y-axis as uh, sepal width. You have your z-axis as your petal length. So these are the three axes that we are going to plot on. Now, if we go slightly down and see the plot itself, right? So you have you have three color-coded data points. The red ones are Setosa. The blue ones are Versicolor. The green ones are Virginica. Okay, so you have your X, Y, Z. I hope these guys actually put sepal length, sepal width, and petal length as um, as as the axis labels. That would have made it much more easier to read. Now, having said that, even in this plot, you will observe uh, that you can easily move around and understand what's happening in these three dimensions. So it requires us to do some mouse movements, which is good because it becomes interactive and we get a better sense of what's happening. So now if you look at the data from this angle, you'll notice that all of your setosa flowers are well separated from your versicolor and your virginica flowers. So in this space, in a 3D space, so in a 2D space, we drew a line to separate your uh, setosa from other types of flowers. In a 3D space, what we could quickly do is we can plot a plane. Imagine if I plot a plane like this, right? Everything on this side of the plane, everything on this side of the plane will be your setosa flowers. Everything on the other side of the plane will be your virginica and versicolor, right? So now a quick thing that I start to realize is as soon as I started plotting petal length, a quick takeaway is in this space, if I, if I can draw a line like this or a plane like that, uh, I'm able to separate my blue points from green points better than I was able to do earlier, right? So we'll, we'll, see, we'll see how to use, so this is nothing but petal length, right? Earlier, we only plotted sepal length and sepal width 2D plots. We'll plot more, we'll, we'll start looking at petal length from now on because it seems to have some value here. Having said that, one of the big drawbacks of 3D plots is that it's not easy to print them on 2D surfaces like paper or Word documents or IPython notebooks. And while they're good in to, to play interactive, um, to, do, to do interactive data analysis, the problem is it requires a lot of mouse movements. Um, so people typically avoid doing 3D uh, plotting if they can. Of course, sometimes it's, it's inevitable and hence we do it. But in general, if you can achieve the same insight from not having to plot a 3D plot, I think I would take that chance. I would take that choice over plotting 3D plots. Now, the immediate question you might get is, okay, we have seen a 2D scatter plot. We have also seen a 3D scatter plot. Is there something called a 4D scatter plot or a 5D scatter plot or an n-dimensional scatter plot? The answer to that is, can you visualize a 4D space? So my my, my fundamental question is are humans equipped to see to see data or to see things in 4d or 5d or any nd where n is greater than or equal to 3 so we humans evolved in a three dimensional world we were we were roaming around in sub saharan africa while we evolved so we humans are equipped to see length breadth and depth so we humans evolved in a 3d world and hence we can only see Three dimensional maps if you're if you if you think you can see 4d or 5d i recommend you visit a doctor because there might be a small issue with how you're imagining things but uh, most people can visualize 3d of course there are some animals which only walk on the ground which cannot visualize even the third dimension those animals the small insects and which do not fly of course they're, they're small of the some of these crawlers which can only imagine imagine the world in 2d so we humans can see, since we've evolved in a 3D world, we can see up to 3D, 4D, 5D, ND. We need to come up with mathematical tools, mathematical hacks on understand, on visualizing data, which is in 4D, 5D, and ND. But remember, our whole, we have four features, right? We have sepal length, we have sepal width, we have petal length and petal width. 
So this is literally a four dimensional space that we have to visualize. But we humans, we didn't evolve to see four dimensional spaces, but we are very creative creatures. We use math, we use hacks to understand how to see uh, four dimensional spaces. The hack to do that is called pair plots, which is the next subtopic. And we will use pair plots to visualize data in four dimensional spaces very elegantly.